All right, Chelsea, thank you. Tonight, loved ones are grieving a young man killed in southwest Baltimore after his dirt bike collides with a city fire truck. Let's begin Mike Helger now. He's at the medical examiner's office. He spoke to people who witnessed this tragedy unfold. Mike. Max, this was a young man in his 20s who was reportedly dragged by that fire truck, and we have seen a number of loved ones posting tributes to him on social media. We talked to a number of witnesses today as well, both on and off camera, and they are still shaken by what they saw last night. People should think about this is somebody's child, somebody's brother, somebody's sister. Involved in an accident, patient, and friend. I need the police of the time chief. Engine 14 has been involved in a wreck. The emergency dispatch calls came out just before 7.30 Thursday night. A fire truck collided with a dirt bike rider in southwest Baltimore's Carrollton Ridge neighborhood, dragging the rider and killing him. His shoe left in the middle of Pratt Street. He was just riding down the street for real. I guess he was a pad of touching for real. The first bike went past. The uh, fire truck, he was yanking it on. Shocking. That's how I felt shocking. I ain't never seen that like that before. The fire truck was headed to a call, lights and sirens flashing. The fire truck was going fast. He was going at a, a normal pace for real. I guess he could, thought he could beat those truck. Dirt bikes have long been a part of Baltimore's culture, even though they're illegal on city streets. We have to be very innovative in understanding how we can deal with the issue. Again, it's about making sure that folks can be able to uh, do what they want to do and ride, but ride in safe places. This was something I've been saying for years that was going to happen. And I don't like to be right in these situations. Brittany Young with the nonprofit B360 works with riders and is trying to set up a permanent dirt bike park, a safe place to ride. What we're not looking for is people to point fingers or blame to the rider, um, but instead to lend that empathy and to, to give that family some time to grieve. And there was a temporary space for dirt bike riders at the B&O Railroad Museum. Of course, B360 would like a permanent one, as we've told you. The Firefighters Union has asked that people pray for everyone involved in this tragedy. Reporting live at the Medical Examiner's Office, Mike Helgren, WJZ.